a real Han. Real mean real Patan. This is my wish. And I wish that I'm alive when Pashtunistan come into existence, inshallah. My name is Dr. Muhammad Nasim. I'm a real Khan, but I have no Khan with my name. I cut it off because every Tom, Dick and Harry, who is not a Khan, who is not a Patan, they adopted this name because it's a name of Grange, you know, with some dignity. And they want to become dignified people by putting Khan with their names. In Britain, if you open a telephone directory, half will be full of Khan, and out of that there will be, you know, just a dozen or half a dozen real Khan. My father was Manawar Khan. He was uh, an advocate in Banu, and before he was an advocate, he was in police during Pakistan uh, came into existence or when Pakistan was made. I came to Britain in 1971 and started practicing medicine and started working for police as well. And I had no trouble. I, people respected me and they still respect me. Uh, I retired in year 2000 and from my house in five, six mile radius, I don't know, probably further. If you ask somebody where Dr. Nasim lives, uh, they will get you by the hand and bring you to my house. Uh, they are nice people. Me and my family are very happy and they are well respected. And I have purchased my graves, land for my graves, and inshallah, when I die, I'll be buried in Wakefield. I would like to be buried in this country. Do the, the, the English people here admire your services regarding them? Well, they did. I, I have show you on my internet, there are photographs and prizes they gave me. And, uh, you know, uh, there was not a single complaint against me in all these years. And uh, so it means they, they like me. Well, I lived in Yorkshire all my life, okay. all my stay in Britain, I should say, not all, all my life. And uh, I didn't go out of uh, Yorkshire, and they're the great people, you know, lovely people, very friendly. I did uh, medical legal work for police, like, you know, somebody died, murdered, I would go to the scene, tell them what's the cause of death, you know, roughly. Later on, pathologists will come and do the further. If there's a suspicious death, I'll ask them to call the pathologist. I'll examine uh, people if they were assaulted by police, because in Britain, police is not supposed to touch anybody if he's arrested. You know, like in our country, they beat the hell out of him. Here they don't touch. I'll give you some occasions that one person complained about police, just one person, that uh, this gang of police assaulted me. And I examined once 16 police officers for any injury on their hand or on their body while they assaulted that uh, person. And if uh, it's proven, that, uh, you know, there is an injury which coincide with the complaint of the uh, person, then I will make a report and that will be properly investigated. And if uh, the person is proved guilty, he will be punished. Not like in our country. They put the gun through their asshole. They do anything with a prisoner, you know. What is it? They call it Islamic Republic of Pakistan. So what else I should say? Wonderful police, 
very good, really, no problem, they don't give you any, they don't carry any guns, they move without guns, you know, so, I won't leave this country, I had job offers in America, Canada, Australia, but I came to Britain. Well, when I came, I came, I applied for employment voucher, which I got it, I think, in a month or two. And I came at the airport, and uh, they put the stamp on my passport without asking any questions. They just looked at my passport and looked at me. And I asked the lady, you know, when uh, my passport was checked, it was a lady who put a stamp on my passport. So I asked the lady how long I can stay in Britain. She said, as long as you want. Uh, but now it's different because of the uh, attitude and the tricks and the things our people do when they come to Britain. Since the job opportunities, because they are not qualified, so n they don't get the jobs which they want to do. Uh, they won't get the job, so they start doing dealing in drugs and other things uh, to live by. But they lived all together in one community, you know. Uh, so they talk to each other. They're, most of them, they don't speak English. Uh, no, even today, one of my, uh, the lady who works for me, her husband is a taxi driver. He had an appointment in the hospital, so because he couldn't communicate in English, so he took his wife along with him <coughs> to hospital mm. to communicate with the uh, specialist. So why did they do not uh, want to uh, integrate here? Because the what happened? They came in the beginning. Most of the most of them, you know, came in the beginning yes. to. Uh, work here, make money and go back to Pakistan. They came here, they went back to Pakistan and when they t the family, you know, they didn't get, the children didn't get education and they went back to Pakistan and there they were uh, educated, you know, they were admitted in the local schools. But then the kids, uh, they couldn't settle in Pakistan, so they wanted to come back to Britain are there some other circumstances though then they came back grown up so you know that that's the reason that they couldn't uh, uh, you know learn English a uh, local language I do miss my town I do miss my people I want them to go forward but uh, the opportunities are not provided yes, and there is no because, yeah, that's the reason. Yeah, uh, uh, and what do you think, how they can bring the peace in the region? How they can say, oh, to bring peace in the region? Well, to give them share of, uh, you know, money, develop industries, uh, educate them, uh, you know, all these things, and give them good share of money, you know, when you they become rich. The give the, them uh, money and share? Well, the, whatever money came into Pakistan or come into Pakistan, uh, most of them go to Punjab, you know, Punjabi, they, they take the big share of it. To cut a long story short, we should have our Pashtunistan. We should separate and have our Pashtunistan. This is my wish, and I wish that I'm alive when Pashtunistan come into existence, inshallah.